Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube Pipe community. Lewis coming at you once again. So, uh, it's been a long weekend. Um, I've got a lot going on. Uh, still setting up my house, still getting everything squared away. But damn, I am excited because I got this in the mail today. It was waiting for me when I got home today. Um, and I am so damn excited because I know what's in it. Good Lord. Okay. Um, after the Chicago show, I know, I know. I bought a lot of pipes. I got a lot of tobacco, but I, yeah, I couldn't help myself this time around. At the Chicago show, I got to meet one of my favorite pipe makers, American pipe makers. Uh, I met a lot of pipe makers, uh, but this guy really stood out to me. He was a fantastic person um, and, and just great conversationalist. Had a great time talking to him. Spent a couple hours chatting with him, and um, and just just a great person. It was a happy instance uh, getting to know this guy. So, um, besides the fact that he's really nice, he makes incredible freaking pipes, incredible pipes. So I am blessed to have finally had the opportunity to get one of his pipes. It's an estate. Um, and that's all I'll say for now. Uh, I guess it's not really all that I'll say for now. Uh, so smokingpipes.com had a great little sale at 15% off all estate pipes. And that put this pipe right at the tippy tippy top of my price range now making this the most expensive pipe i've ever bought uh, i know there are people that have bought pipes way more expensive than this and normally i stay try and stay way below this price range but i could not help it so uh without further ado i'm going to open this package uh so, I was uh, at my wife's hometown this weekend, because my wife is living in a different city than I am right now. I was in my wife's hometown, looking after my kiddo, uh, up until tonight, tonight being Tuesday. Um, my kiddo had a, a, his, uh, his ear tubes removed, a little fat graft done in each of them. Um, had adenoidectomy and a tonsillectomy because the kid had such big tonsils. He's only four years old, so it was really tough on both him and us, but, um, but it was good. But while I was there, I got a good evening to spend some time enjoying some pipe tobacco. Uh, that was that was fantastic. So, along with the the pipe it's coming folks it's coming i got eight ounces eight ounces of sutliff 515 rc1 what is that folks well a lot of people saying that this is about as close as you're going to get to uh 5100 red cake I don't know how true that is. I don't think I have ever had this. Uh, Padre Piper said that, you know, he got that vinegary ketchup thing coming from, at least without opening the bag. Let's go ahead and open the bag. At least without opening the bag. I'm not getting that. I like McClellan, Virginia's. Okay. Okay, so it's not it's not ketchup. It's sweet. But I got as soon as I opened the bag, I got a boom. I got a little whiff of that sharp sharp vinegariness and it went away really quick. Um this is going to be interesting. Interesting to smoke. 
And it's going to be a good tobacco to inaugurate uh, this beautiful pipe. So, I'm sorry, buddies. I am not going to give you any of my pipes right now. Whatever I would send is not worth it. Okay, so uh, they sent me some uh, pipe cleaners. Always, always useful. And the box. Dun, dun, dun. Now, since this is an estate pipe, I don't know if it's going to come with a sock or what. And I don't have a tripod. Please forgive me. Uh, my office is still a mess. I don't know where my tripod is right now. I'll find it eventually. So, the box... It's coming in bubble wrap. Lots of bubble wrap. Find a spot for that. Cardboard sleeve. And the smokingpipes.com logo. So let's open this up. Peanuts. Ooh, there is a pipe sock in here. Goody. It's always nice to have a pipe sock to protect your very nice pipes. Oh boy. Oh goodness. You know, somebody warned me um, that sometimes the estate pipes coming from smoking pipes aren't really as nice as what they look like uh, on the website. And I'm not sure that holds true here. All right, you guys ready? I am. All right, look at that. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna click right there. That's not what I wanted. Right there. Let's see if we can focus on that. Guys, look at that. All right. It is Kind of a bent, canted Dublin with gorgeous flame grain all on the sides and beautiful bird's eye right on top. Gosh, my lighting is absolutely not doing this pipe justice. How beautiful is this? Okay, one of the things I need to know is how's it going to feel in my hand and you know, I figured it would be a little difficult to hold, but that was not good. Um, it's a sitter. It sits. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Uh, enough of the fiddle faddling around with that. Sorry. All right. Let's figure out this camera thing. One second. There we go. This pipe right here and my only concern was that there might be a little tiny gap between here and there but it is so negligible it's not even a question this is a 2010 pipe by Scott Feely and the guy makes some incredible pipes his pipes generally run anywhere from on the low end $360 Two on the high end, somewhat odd, seven hundred and fifty to eight hundred dollars, and I was able to snag a killer deal as far as I'm concerned on this smooth pipe. Look at that! It's a sitter, and despite its size, if I'm done knocking things over here, despite its size, it is extremely, extremely light. And I've got pipes more bent than this, smaller than this, that easily do not clench nearly as well. That is gorgeous. Let's see. That's got a pretty deep chamber. Pretty deep chamber, about an inch and a half, I'd say. Um, well reamed it doesn't look like it's been smoked very much at all 
I think this is boxwood. I'm not sure. Let's take off the stem. Get the shank. Delrin tenon. That looks fantastic. Now, let's put this thing to the test. Let's take one of those. Let's take one of those uh, uh, pipe cleaners and see if this pipe will run it. One second. Let me put the pipe down because despite me knocking it over right away, it is a sitter and it sits very nicely. God, that green is just gorgeous. Man, Scott knows how to read a damn pipe. He just does. It's fantastic. Now, I paid more for this than I did for my Tom L. Tang poker. And uh, I still think it's well worth it. Usually, I'm more, in more into rounded pipes. Um, but this one just said, you, you got to go for it. The way he was able to read this grain is so fantastic. He did such a great job. Let's see if it'll run a pipe cleaner. All right. Right down to the bottom. Fantastic. 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 I cannot wait to smoke this. I'm so excited. Guys, I just wanted to share with you. I hope you share in my excitement. I'm going to put this in this nice leather pipe sock that it does come with. I'm going to enjoy this tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube Pipe Community, thank you so much for taking time to, uh, to uh, look at this pipe with me. Uh, I'm very excited about this box opening. It's awesome. Thank you so much. Blessings and smoke rings. Ciao.